So hello, hello Libra, and welcome back to Divine Rebel at Joplin Marley Studios in Chicago. Uh, this is gonna be your July forecast. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel and you're new, I do not sugarcoat my messages and I have no filter. So if that is not your thing or you have kids around or just don't appreciate that kind of a message, I'm always very respectful of that and I'm giving you the opportunity to sign off now. Otherwise, Leo or Libra, we will be getting into your July message. Take them as they resonate and leave them if they don't, okay? This is for Libra, Libra sons, and those who have strong Libra placements in your chart. So watch uh, whatever house, you know, Libra is ruling in your birth chart and what planets are there. It might give you some specific insights into certain areas of your life, okay? So, with that said, Libra. Libra. Spirit. You might want to be mindful then, Libra, because I'm getting the slip of the tongue, Leo. Leo is at the end of July after Cancer season, after the second um, eclipse that we have in Cancer. So maybe pay particular mind to the end of the month and how this message resonates. You might want to come back and rewatch it. All right. Hindsight being 2020. So, spirit please for our Libras for July. And Libra and energy, what is going on? What is going on with Libra? And Libra and energy. Clarify the Four of Cups. Oh, I am being told to take them. Okay. Keep them face down. Clarify the Heart of Wands or the Queen of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. And clarify the Three of Cups. Whoa. Yo, Weaver, we got some, we got a lot of cards for you. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. Could be concerning soul contracts or work place obligations. With the moon on top, Piscean energy. Your subconscious, which the moon represents, your spirituality. Right, your inner, your inner spirit, the world inside that you deal with. You're consciously aware of the fact that you have shadows. I think you're consciously aware that there are certain beliefs in your heart that need adjusting. And you're moving through a step-by-step, piece-by-piece process. And almost like an ant, you're having to carry on a lot more weight than most people can, right? Because ants can carry like a ridiculous times their body weight. I think you're contracted right now with a heavy load in the 3D because you're carrying a heavy load subconsciously. The reason why the 3D feels heavy or that you're taking on a lot of stress from your experience is because your inner world, you've put a lot of pressure on yourself there. 
All right, so the Four of Cups, cards they had me pulling. We have the Fool, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Earth Mother, or the Empress, which is Venusian energy, that's Libra's energy. Might have particular placements, uh, your Venus, your Venus placement might be significant, so you might wanna watch that video, wherever your Venus is. The Four of Cups is usually the opportunity that's been missed, but you're leaning up right against it, you know? It's, it's almost like the panda who only eats bamboo, right? And they nourish themselves the same way all the time. It's the same thing, the same nourishment from the outer experience. And they're, it's almost like they want more out of life, but there's something else, you know what I mean? There's something else for them. And instead of missing it, it's like they're literally leaning right up against it. It's just a matter of taking the leap of faith Right, with the fool, taking the leap of faith on something completely new, something you've never experienced before or is completely out of character. Doing something that feels out of character. Taking a leap of faith. With the two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, it might be a perspective shift on mastering the self into a place that's independent juggling two realities like it's only a matter of time before the universe sets you free i think i i think you can't miss this opportunity like you're leaning up against it i don't think you can miss it but it's i think a matter of a leap of faith or it only being a matter of time before the universe kind of does it for you whatever it's whatever it's doing or whatever it wants you to take that leap on. Because the truth, the Ace of Swords with the Empress, I feel like it's the truth that brings the tree to life. I'm also hearing it, um, it starts a new tree, like ancestral tree, like energetically speaking, like no more ancestral karma. It's only a matter of time. If the leap of faith is not taken, it's only a matter of time before the universe frees you with the truth. Because you're starting a magical new cycle For your ans your your ancestor, like your line, but it's like from you forward instead of you backwards being your ancestral lineage. Like it's you're starting a new cycle of energy within your within your to be you know family line. You're sep it's almost like you're energetically separating from the old tree because the old tree kept you in this energy where you feel like you're missing opportunity, but it's right there. With the Heart of Wands, which is the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords, I think you're allowing time to take its course. You're allowing your heart and your spirit to manifest the truth from a place of retreat. This is not a time where you feel the need to take action towards manifesting, but to trust in manifesting. The Eight of Wands clarified by the Three of Wands, the Star and the Nine of Wands. I think the Spirit's letting you know like you can move forward mentally, spiritually, and heal yourself with whatever you need to do. Like you're getting the inner guidance from Spirit to move forward and heal yourself because you can't, you can't allow yourself to get hurt anymore by the monkey mind of other people. Like you've had your wits end with, with 
I don't want to say lower people, but unaware people, like people that you talk to them and you're like, I am literally talking to a brick wall. Like you're not on my level. Like they're just not on your level. You know what I mean? Like they're not on your level. It's not that they're lower or higher. So they're not where you are. Um, and spirit's kind of giving you this guidance to keep moving forward in your healing, keep doing what you're doing. Um, healing the monkey mind of others and the monkey mind within yourself. You're not buying into anybody else's crap, drama, energy, and I don't think you're allowing yourself to make excuses for your own either. We do have at the end of the month, and this might be where that Leo energy at the end of July comes in solid for you. We have the Three of Cups, which is an abundance card. It's a celebratory card, but it's also a third party situation card where there's emotionally too many people involved. And it came out with the Magician, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So, Libra, I think your eye is on one. You have a deep heart connection with someone. And if that means someone else's heart's broken, um, I, I feel like that's what's, that's what's going to happen. Like, you're not actually going to miss out on an opportunity. I think you're manifesting love on a very deep soul level. And if there is a third party or outer influence, right? Because it doesn't have to necessarily be a person. It could just be an outer influence. It could be a workplace. It could be a family or dynamic or a social dynamic, like whatever it is. It's, in, it's interfering with your connection. It's what's putting on so much weight. Whatever the heavy weight is. I think you, you already know Whatever, whatever this third energy is, listen, some of, some of you are going to outright communicate this to someone. Some of you are going to outright communicate this to someone, especially with the magician. It's mercurial energy. Some of you are going to choose it. You're going to let someone else know, like, listen, I have a lot of love for you, blah, 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 but I'm in love with who I have my eyes set on, you know, my heart is connected to. Others of you, the prying eyes, because this is very Gemini in energy. Um, the prying eyes might find something that they don't want to see. Or they might intuitively start putting pieces together. But either way, with this card, because I love the energy of this card, I think either way you're celebrating. Either way, your heart and soul is celebrating, because I feel like you're manifesting a soulmate. Especially maybe even one that um, was hurt by a situation like that. You're letting, you're putting it in the divine's hands and letting the divine do it for you. So I'm going to pull from my crystal mandala oracle for you real quick. Just some guidance for July for our Libras. Her eye ever open. Her eye ever open. Your heart space. Libra, your heart space. Her eye ever open. Card number 37, Goddess Tara and Tibetan Courts. I'm going to read some for you. Her eye ever open. And it says, divine confirmation, right? Sirens blaring. We bring you the empowerment of her eye ever open. The divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your simple request for the Universal Mother to, is to watch out for you and to protect what has meaning for you. 
It allows you to live your life, do your work, and know the most powerful one is caring for your well-being on all levels. You can trust, be free from worry, and remain open to the world with joy in your heart. As you grow spiritually, the light of your, the reach of your light increases, and you become increasingly open and visible to more souls. You become as a shining spiritual sun, bringing light to the earth. Do you notice that people have different reactions to the sun? Some worship, others respect, and some fear. These reactions are about the belief systems and consciousness of the people, not the nature of the sun itself. The sun is exactly the same, whether it is recognized for its health-giving properties or for being destructive to the health. The sun is powerful and continues to shine and simply be what it is, unaffected by the reactions of those to its light. You're, you're doing Libra. You're carrying a lot. You're carrying a lot. You know, spiritually speaking, there's a lot there below the surface. There's a lot in the subconscious. And that's why you're carrying such a heavy load. But I think you are aware of the fact that what you're manifesting, what your heart really wants, why you know that what your heart manifesting, it's okay to retreat. It's okay to allow the universe to bring it to you and not feel like you have to take action right now. Because you know it's only a matter of time before the truth comes out in whatever way it needs to in order to bring the tree that you're, you're nurturing and growing into life. You know you could take the leap of faith, but you also trust the unknown in that you know eventually all things come to light. The universe, the divine mother, your inner being, your highest self, it's all the same thing. You're looking out for yourself. You are looking out for yourself. You're staying connected to your heart, even if it's a little painful. Especially if you're dealing with a third party situation and that itself is the burden. And you know that, but you're seeing it from a higher perspective. That's what's underneath and you're seeing it from a place of wanting to be stable. Wanting to master the mind, master the reality. And allowing time to just take its course, right? Divine time. You're just carrying a lot in the meantime. But you know you can, you know you can handle it because you're being protected. You just know you, you're being protected and what you love is being protected. Like the divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your heart's eyes open. It's manifesting exactly what it is that you're setting out for without you even really trying. So don't beat yourself up. It's all good. It's all good. Don't buy into the monkey mind of other people. Focus on your own healing and your own spiritual forward movement. Listen to your inner guidance. Do as, you're, do as you resonate, right? Do as you're guided. Whatever you would have me do, whatever you would have me say, whatever you would have me go, if it's in the highest good of all spirit, so be it. Like, that's it. You're not going to force anything. Because you know better. You know better. Divine does what it does. So I hope that helps, Libra. I hope that helps for the month of July and gives you some insights that you needed. And um, until next time, guys, Divine Rebel Racy signing off. Love each other and most importantly, love yourselves. Bye.